Harbor City is just the latest school in the state to take some of these precautions when it comes to preventing the spread of the virus. Furman extending its spring break and not allowing students back on campus until further notice. 7 News reporter Melanie Palmer is live on the Furman campus with more on that. Melanie. Gordon, this is a first for Furman, especially with the end of the spring semester so close. And now the students here, their spring break will be lasting longer than expected. And when they can come back to campus is up in the air. Empty chairs on an already empty campus. Students at Furman University are on spring break, but the blowing of the wind could only get louder as the days go on. We're asking students not to come back to campus until further notice. University officials announcing a major change to the student schedule. Spring break will be a week longer. After that, students will be turning to online instruction rather than coming to the classroom. I like it and I not like it. Like, I'd like the extra spring break. I'd like to stay at my house, but then again, I'd rather be in class. Callum Allison is studying health sciences at Furman, and while he tells us he understands taking precautionary measures, he likes being in the classroom, working with his instructors. I obviously wouldn't want it. I wouldn't want to affect other people. And these new measures go beyond the classroom. Many Furman-related activities other than athletics are on hold. Furman officials are not saying how long these measures will be in place, but people living near the campus think this is a good idea. I'm not really worried about it for myself, but if it spreads to other people, then, you know, people who are older or sick might be affected by it. Now, the spokesperson here on Furman's campus tells us that, you know, a lot of this is still up in the air right now, and they don't know exactly how long this is going to last, as, as we said there. And just to be clear that no students, staff, or faculty are suspected of having the coronavirus. Live in Greenville, Melanie Palmer, 7 News. All right, Melanie, thank you. Students urged to keep up with the latest on when they can go back to campus on the university website. Urban's not the first school in the upstate to do something like this. At Clemson, they're telling students to be prepared for the possibility of online lessons after spring break. That's already the plan for students at the University of South Carolina.